I am sick and tired of sitting in my own reptile room talking about my own reptile. So I went to Fatty's house what's and up? I think, uh, what's up buddy? All right. So I think we're going to do a Daffy's reptile room tour. We got to do a top five though, right? Top five. Top five. So right now we're doing the top five coolest reptiles in Daffy's reptiles reptile room. His name's Adam. This is Chester. <laughs> there you go. You're watching Wicked's Wicked <laughs> Reptiles. Stick around. Number five, an animal that I've never seen in person before, dwarf sand geckos. So let's just spin this around. Buddy, tell me all about these really cool geckos that I've never ever seen before. So these are called dwarf sand geckos or um, elegant finger geckos, also known as stenodactylus stenodactylus, that's the Latin name. Um, they come from the Middle East, so a lot of them come from Egypt, um, the UAE, that kind of area. They live in the desert, obviously, and that's why I have them on sand. Yeah, they're very cool. This is actually an adult size, so they won't get any bigger than this. Um, the babies come out of the egg like really, really tiny. They burrow their eggs in the sand, obviously, and they, they're a desert species, so they like it really hot. I actually spray them twice a week because they do like the humidity as well, um, but their basking spot is about 32 degrees Celsius. No idea what that is in Fahrenheit. they will be right, uh, right, right, right here. there. <laughs> um, and yeah, they're a really, really cool gecko. My favorite part about them, obviously, is how small they are. I like micro geckos. Number four. What do we got here? The Emerald Tree Skinks. Lampro Lepis Smargadina. I definitely butchered that, but it's okay. <laughs> Sounds right um, to me. So yeah. tell me about this amazing species that, so um, did Clint's reptiles hurt you in any way to make you get these? Yes, he uh, he held a gun to my head and he said, I was going a glue stick to a glue stick. So I was like, I gotta have them, I gotta get them, and I went out and got them immediately. It's a very serious threat. Yes. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about this incredible species. So they're actually very cool. My favorite thing about them, actually, I have them just across from the couch, so I, they're always moving around, they're always, I enjoy watching them. It's kind of my TV at home. But other than that, they're a very smart species. As you can see, they actually interact with you. Um, they, right now they're not, but they usually come right up to the cage and they'll climb into my hands. One thing I say is I can't handle them, they handle me. So the female will come right out. She'll sit on my shoulder, she'll do her thing, but I can't really like control where she goes. Uh, she kind of controls what she wants to do. Um, they're very, very, I probably said this already, but they're a very, very smart species, um, both when it comes to watching them eat and their eating behavior and both of the interacting between each other and with human behavior. Um, and on top of all of that, Look at that green, man. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're, I love them. They're a lot of fun. I haven't had them too long, but now we're starting to form that bond and I, I couldn't be happier. Number three, Alpine Nudes. We had to ruin it with an amphibian again. <laughs> just, just Adam standards, you know? <laughs> we have the Italian Alpine Nudes or the Alpine Nudes. Um, there are these guys right here. You can see one in the water and then I have another female and a male right there. Um, they're actually in a tub right now because they're about to go into their winter cooling. Um, so in from December to February, I'll hibernate them, put them down for a couple of months, and then in spring, I bring them back up, put them in an aquarium, so they go from terrestrial to aquatic, and that's when they start breeding. Say there, yeah, I knew it. They have really, really cool orange bellies, which I'm hoping this guy will climb up to the glass so you can see it, or the tub. Go, 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 go. Does that show? Yep. He's got really cool orange belly, and they have really nice um, marking, blue markings on the face with spots. So when they're in breeding. Uh, breeding season, the males will go almost a full light turquoise blue and the females will stay this color. Um, yeah, they're awesome. Get newts, get salamanders, get amphibians. The cool thing about these newts is actually from northwestern France all the way to Romania and they've actually also been introduced in Great Britain and New Zealand. Before we move on to the next animal, just back in my own kitchen here, it's been kind of difficult to leave lately being so busy, but HelloFresh makes it way easier. I like to eat healthy and sometimes that takes a lot of time. But not with HelloFresh, because they've got over 70 different items in 30 different recipes, and if you've got kids, they're picky proof. Every single meal that HelloFresh has sent me, I have liked, I have not subbed out any ingredients, all of them taste fantastic, they're quick, they're easy. The burgers that they sent me, it's a lean pork, these amazing buns, a potato salad that I didn't even like potato salad until I tried this recipe. The Mediterranean tortellini, I don't touch tomatoes at all, but in this dish, it just kind of complemented it perfectly. I don't know what sort of wizardry is going on with these amazing recipes, but I've liked every single one of them. And they send you everything you need in 25% less packaging, according to a study that HelloFresh did, than if you went to a grocery store. Everything shows up to your door exactly as you need it, in the right proportions, with the right instructions. 
super easy to follow. It doesn't matter what you're into, if you're into veggies, if you're a pescatarian, if you just want something that's fit and wholesome, they have a different meal plan for everybody. It's not just for dinner either, they've got snacks, they've got breakfast. You'll satisfy your cravings without stepping foot in a grocery store, which is my least favorite part about eating healthy, going to the grocery store. HelloFresh has that figured out for me now. Almost all of the packaging is recyclable. I put almost nothing into the garbage when I was done making the meals. And I definitely didn't put any of the food in the garbage because like it's so good. I've got to go back to cooking my meal here, but if you want to try HelloFresh right now, that's HelloFresh.com. If you use code WICKEN65, you'll get 65% off your order and free shipping right to your door. That's HelloFresh.com and use code WICKEN65, 65% off and it's it delivered right to your door. All right, I got burgers to eat and then we'll get back to the tour. Number, this is two, right? Are you stupid or something? Number two. Number two, a snake that I've always had on my bucket list to eventually have, carpet pythons. Carpet pythons. Specifically, this is a jungle carpet python. So they come from uh, the northern or northeastern Queensland uh, in Australia. They're an awesome pet snake. They are semi-arboreal. So one thing that's nice about them is you can have set up some height and they will use it having a tree or something in the enclosure. Um, they don't like it too, too hot, but you know, they are Australian species, so there you go, he's coming out to say hi. Jungle carpet pythons are generally one of those, they won't get as big as coastals, but they will get to six, seven, eight feet. The males, this is a male, he'll probably stay around six. The females will get to around eight, nine. Because um, coastals get to like nine-ish, right? Coastals will get over nine, ten, yeah, as well. So I do feed him frozen rats every week, but I will also very frequently mix it up. And so he gets quail, he gets chicken, he gets frog legs, and he gets um, adult mice every now and then or uh, frozen wean when I'm being lazy. So Taz is still really young. He's only two to three years old, but when he does get full size, he will need something like a four by two by four or four by two by two enclosure. Um, the bigger, the better as always. So um, in general, carpet pythons are known to be very nippy, especially when they're babies, but this guy is a sweetheart. I have never been bit once. Um, I do work with him very frequently so that I avoid him because you know, oh. <laughs> just as I said it, he's gonna bite, no. Um, I do work with him very frequently because I do have a lot of kids and like uh, families come over and see them. So I do, I do want him to have that very like um, calm demeanor. Um, but he's awesome, he, he's a sweet boy, he's never been anyone. He doesn't like to stop moving, er, he doesn't stay still as you can see. Um, so not like a ball python where you can just put him on your, uh, on your lap and just chill. But at the same time, it's not like a colubrid where he's going all over the place. I can kind of still have him in my hand and just hang out with me. So it's like a happy medium between like a milk snake and a ball python. That's exactly where I'd put him, yes. There you go. But a much bigger happy medium. There you go. <laughs> and number one coolest reptile in Daffy's reptile room it's uh, my diamond replacement here. These are mountain horn dragons. So tell me a little bit about mountain horn dragons. So these are mountain horn dragons, uh, Akansora capra. Um, they are from Indonesia, Vietnam, and like that part of Asia. They come from uh, cloud forests. Um, so high humidity, higher up in the mountains. Much um, cooler. Much cooler, exactly. So I actually don't have any heat on these guys. Well, I do have a hot spot on them, but it's uh, the hot spot is 82 degrees. So he feels cool on my shoulder. Exactly, it's not a, yeah, <laughs> exactly, not a hot spot. Um, the cool thing about them is they do like water. Um, they actually don't recognize stagnant water. They need to see the moving water to recognize that it's water. Um, so they're the perfect animal for like a paludarium or like a water feature setup. Um, so I actually have mine set up and they grow out right now. There's a little bit of a water feature that they will go down. They will use it, they will swim. They don't eat fish. I haven't proven they eat fish yet. <laughs> All the fish are still there, but I, I imagine at some point if the fish were big enough, they could. Yeah, so they like it. Um, very high humidity. They like it cooler temperatures. Um, they're completely docile, as you can see. They're not full size. So these are still babies. Uh, pull out the female now. So these are uh, baby males. They will get to about yay big <laughs> with the tail. Um, but uh, they're about a year old. They take to about a year and six months to get to sexual maturity. So by next year, this time, they should be ready to breed. Um, see, this one's a to jump they do jump there we go they do jump they like jumping um, but not jumping like say a crested gecko or something that's jumping just out of control it's very much like I'm jumping to get to that porch or that that perch that sitting area and I'm gonna stay there um, they like to be high up so a lot of time when I'm in the room they're, they're either sitting on my shoulder or on my head let me show you a full-size female okay so I said earlier this is an adult Woo! and he's gone okay so this is an adult female um, she's probably about like six, seven inches now, maybe a little bit more. The males will actually get to around 15 inches. Um, so maybe like this big. That, that animal's eight or nine inches. Eight or nine inches? Yeah. I wouldn't know. I'm bad at math and bad at dimensions. <laughs> 
this animal, according to Adam, is around eight or nine inches. The males will, you know, max out around 14, 15, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I was on Tinder, I'd say that's like two feet though. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. Those are my top, that's actually your top favorite. My top five, your five. top five. I've convinced you to, so yeah. they're your top five now too. There you go. You guys wanted a reptile room tour <laughs> and I haven't been able to do it in my room, but if you hit subscribe and you hit the like button, I promise. Do you want to see a reptile room tour at Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles? That'd be cool, right? I want to see it. Personally, I want to see it, so. Okay, uh, yeah. all right. I, I've already subscribed, but you should subscribe too so we can see, so we can all see it together. If you subscribe, <laughs> and hit the like button, we'll do it. Uh, I just wanna say special thanks to everyone who watched this, right? Thanks, uh, Fatty's a supporter, right? On the uh, on the uh, uh, YouTube thing, Sometime. right there. But I wanna say a special thanks to the Patreon supporters. So you guys got this video early. You got a special vlog from earlier in this week about the uh, Reptile Expo or whatever we did it on. You get discounts on the merch, even though I'm not wearing it right now. Uh, all that and more. And uh, oh yeah, I got merch somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, for all that, uh, it's, it's like a dollar a month on Patreon, so Might all that, well. yeah, exactly. And because we do videos on Mondays and Thursdays, that means I'll see you in the next one.